ahead and talk about more treats for maybe some folks over 21. Yeah. St. Well, Pete Distillery. That'd be you. That'd be you. <laughs> St. Pete Distillery guys? You is doing? entering their fifth year of making award-winning products like their Banyan Reserve Vodka. And they are back to celebrate. Someone's already celebrating here with the fall flavors and have some special cocktails. Of course, I'm talking about Andreas Newart, who is back. And he also brought a guest and a guest bartender, Chuck Cooper. Welcome, Chuck. Guys, how are you? I'm great. I'm awesome. Fantastic. I love the enthusiasm. Absolutely. You were dancing during yeah, the show absolutely. open. You were feeling it. We love this show. You Aww. know what I'm saying? That's why we're back. I think last time we were back was like in March. So awesome. so last time we were here. So it was a great time. There, okay, I'll make sure and pay you your tap for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. We love this show, okay? We should do this like a monthly segment right here. Hey, you know what? Well, I have some people you can talk to. Yeah, how does that you know, sound? Exactly. Well, this guy you brought to talk with us today, Chuck here, bring guest bar. Bartender. Explain this relationship here and, and why you decided to bring Chuck along with so, you. So, uh, Mandarin Heights is one of the new hot spots in Seminole Heights, and uh, it opened up, what, a month, month and a half ago? Uh, three months? Three months? And we said, these guys carry our product. They make some of the best drinks all over. So, we brought Chuck and said, hey, let's go. Here, here you go. Here, I am. here you are. Well, we're glad you're here. You're so, talking, of course, about St. Pete Distillery and obviously. what they have. What are we making up drink-wise today? Because you got a lot of fun stuff. I'm a little on the confused side. It doesn't take much, but he's got a lot going on. You know, so not to be too far-reaching, I try to keep things centralized to you know a relatively simple cocktail that has some uh, you know classic you know resonance. So nothing new, um, but something not often seen. Uh, I brought some extra flair, like you know, for example, fire. We like flair. You know, and a little skull pick just for the sake of the season, but let's face it, it's October and it's still 90 degrees outside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, I chose to go with the gin, which is a tropical gin, which is, you know, very fitting of the time and place that we are. And uh, we're making a little tiki cocktail today with um, a small amount of, you know, autumn flair. I like flair. You know what I'm really, I'm starting to really appreciate and like gin more. It's awesome. It was one of those that I didn't think I liked, and so I'd always like be hesitant to order it. But is it, are we seeing a resurgence? Because I'm seeing it more and more in drinks when it's, I go. It's a little bit more like a vodka for adults. You know? Vodka for like adults. That. We need to make that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All St. Pete gin, vodka for adults. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know, okay. so it's just, a, it's, it's vodka with um, a little bit more spunk and some flair and actual personality. Vodka with actual personality. Okay, I'm holding on to all of those lines. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use Keep them it. and fine. make it sound like I'm really cool and know what I'm talking no about. No problem. I'm going to drop them later on it. you. It's fine. Deal. Um, Deal. All right, so where shall take I begin? Take it away. I was going to say, take it away. Start your thing. So we're making a tiki cocktail called the Saturn. Um, not new by any means. Uh, re retried many times over. There are a couple recipes that kind of vary here and there. Okay. Um, but we're going to go with an old standard, uh, again, keeping it simple. So um, in the nicest equipment I could bring, um, I'm going to make you something with a little bit of orgeat, which is an almond uh, syrup. So it okay. actually has kind of a nice kind of sweet quality to it. Uh, we're going to use just a little bit of a quarter ounce of that. Dying of thirst over here. <laughs> How you doing? How you I, doing? I'm doing great. This? I'm doing great. You know why he's mixing this up? You know, uh, we also are have some great events coming up this uh, this week. Look at so, this. This guy's a pro. Uh, he's been on our know, show. Hey, you listen. know, you know when to put we it in. We want to let tell people know what you got <laughs> going on. I love it. I love it. Supporting Tampa Bay. You this know, in is general. Great. You know, and, and we're off uh, tomorrow. Actually, we're going to uh, Iron Fork in Miami. And then this weekend, we got Tampa Tailgate Taste Fest. And uh, that's awesome in Curtis Hickson, okay. where you can watch football, play games, tailgate. Who doesn't like that? Have some drinks. Say that three more times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then also Indy Market. You know St. Pete Indy Market? I think you guys I've have heard, heard of it. I was going to say, I've heard of it. My director right now has heard of it, as a matter of yeah. fact, because it's a really cool spot. I told you, I'm totally uncool with the toddler, so you have to help me out with it's your cool spot. It's super cool. <laughs> Let's not you get there. Hey, you can actually take your family with. It's, you know, it's out, outside. It's at Green Bench. We're actually going to feature a Banyan drink at Indy Market that's tailored towards any market, so you can get that uh, when you're down there. So it's gonna be an awesome time. I like that, and I like that you brought it was family friendly. Yeah, that's always How are you doing? How's it going over I'm here? good, I didn't want to interrupt with the uh, shaking of the ice. So all I did was add our other ingredients, which are fresh lime juice and a passion fruit uh, puree. A little bit of a golden falernum, which is a you know traditional falernum added with a little bit of a, a ginger flavor just to kind of spice it up. Okay, and and awesome fall again. Pete. Yep, an ounce and a half of our St. Pete Tropical Gin. Uh, so a really easy, uh, remakeable cocktail that is... Um, now we can do the ice. Yeah, exactly. Here's my noise. <laughs> All right. These guys are pros, right? And the other time, you can barely talk when they're shaking. <laughs> I like that. See, you don't Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> chica chica. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little bit of crushed ice, just for the sake of. It's my favorite part. Crush your own ice. You can take some anger out. You know? <laughs> Who's angry? You the don't seem lost. angry. The Bucks lost. Oh, okay. Put that in. Come on. 
Oh. Good ice. It's all on the ice. And I was going to say, as we are starting to wrap up here with time, I know you want to get that bad boy on there. And again, this is just one example. Where can people come out and see you? Um, I am at Mainer and Heights on the weekends with a bunch of my good friends um, over in uh, Seminole Heights. And we are having a great time out there with uh, Mr. Frank Zola, Ryan Brown, Morgan Zerk, just really enjoying ourselves, making some cool cocktails. Um, and then not to cut us off, but you know, again, being seasonal over here, we're gonna use some overproof rum to set some things on fire. Oh, we are setting our, so okay, so we have to have this segment go a little bit longer since we're gonna bring fire. I hope this fire. is okay. That's a good reason fire. to add yes. some time to the segment. Better you than me. Back? And then, no, I don't, I don't think so. And you know what, I gotta right? be honest too, I've got enough hairspray that I better yeah, step back. I, I, Let's okay. be honest. All right, all right, me too. <laughs> and for the sake of season, there's a little skull on top of that pick for us, little cherries to finish, and then, Fire. See? Voila. I, I, I say just to add some add some color, add some what oh, smoke. Oh is it still it is actually still on fire. It's actually you can on barely fire. see it on yeah. camera, but yeah. it is on fire. We promise. If you want a fiery drink or uh, want to just have people have the pros do it and want to use some of their great drinks. Well there you go, St. Petersburg Distillery. There's the address, there's the website as well. Guys, thank you so much. You started today with a bang for sure. We My appreciate pleasure. it. Appreciate thank it. you so much. Thanks guys.